So if you want to know which medical school costs you $68,000 a year to attend, stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lakshman, internal medicine physician and resident in training, and this channel is all dedicated to help you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. So if you're new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And so if you're considering going into medical school, this will probably be a good video to understand kind of the spectrum of how expensive medical school can get. And if you're already somebody who's paid the tuition fees, I'm oh, sorry. No. Now, before I share the numbers for these specific institutions, I thought it may be important to kind of comparatively share the numbers for my institution that I went to medical school with. So I went to medical school in Texas, which is notoriously known to having a great medical school education, but for a much better price. That doesn't mean that price is cheap, but it is relatively. So I made a full video you guys can check out down below in my med school loans, but my tuition every year was roughly around 19 dollars to $20,000. Now this didn't include other things like rent and utilities and groceries and things of those sort. And I break all of that down in the video down below. But that does go a long way to some of the schools I'll talk about in this video, which all start at 60,000 or above per year. And before we get into the numbers, if you guys are interested in having access to the full spreadsheet that I use for the creation of this video, I'll go ahead and link it down below. So let's go ahead and start with number 10 at Northwestern University with a total tuition cost per year of $64,000 and $262. And then when you add in other fees, like things like rent and room and board, you end up coming to a total cost of about $94,000. I'm sure there's many of you guys that are considering going down this medical path and you're hearing this number and just absolutely freaking out. I promise you it's not so bad. But for the purposes of this video, we are gonna talk about some of the worst of the worst in terms of overall price. And number nine, we're gonna talk about Columbia University with the overall cost of $64,000 and 868. And when you add in all the extra fees, roughly comes out to about $96,000 and 766. And number eight, we have Boston University with an overall cost pretty similar at $64,000 and 884, and overall cost a little bit cheaper at $89,000 and 992. Now in number seven, we have Brown University with an overall cost of $64,974 for a year of tuition and an overall cost of $95,000 and 10 bucks. It's like they couldn't just say, here, keep your $10, keep the change, but whatever. Now, number six, we are talking about Harvard. We're at $64,984 with an overall cost of the highest we've seen thus far at 97,546 bucks. So it's nearly $100,000 per year. And keep in mind, medical school is four years, not accounting for all the interest that you cure over that time plus you're in training. So this is getting a little ridiculous. And it's even more ridiculous because we haven't even touched our top five. But number five, we're talking about Tufts University at $65,052 with an overall cost, depending on if you're living on campus or off campus, roughly around $95,000. And in case you thought that a school could not possibly get over 100K for a total yearly cost, that's where you would be wrong, because at number four, we're talking about USC or University of Southern California at a tuition cost of $66,150 and an overall cost of just 100,000 261 bucks for one year of medical school. And finally, to wrap up the last three, we have Case Western University at $67,440 for a year of tuition and an overall cost of $94,665. Now, number two, we have Dartmouth College with a yearly tuition of $67,552 and an overall cost of about $90,000. Finally, we're getting into number one. If you went to this medical school or you're considering it, I hope they offer scholarships. We're talking about WashU here in St. Louis at at $68,480 for a year of tuition and an overall cost of $89,450. So it's definitely a lot of thousands of dollars for a year of tuition. And as you guys can extrapolate over time, over four years, this can easily add up to $400,000 and overall cost of just basic living as well as your tuition. It doesn't count for things like interest. And as comparison, as you guys can see in the video down below, my overall med school loan after interest, after expenses, and after all the tuition was right around $192,000. Now there's a few lessons to take away before we close off this video. One, the cost of a medical school doesn't necessarily reflect on the quality and understand that the cost also may reflect on many different things that would go into the actual institution. So for example, as you guys could see, a lot of the schools that we talked about are things on the East Coast as well as the West Coast and very expensive cities, things like LA and Boston that do have a higher kind of cost of living relatively to the rest of the country. And so you compare that to the city where I went to medical school here in Dallas, Texas, you can see that the cost 
cost of living is going to be able to save you several and tens of thousands of dollars over your four years of medical school, just in rent alone. But just because my medical school cost was less than half of some of these institutions, by no means doesn't mean that it's 50% of the quality of the education. Keep in mind that you can go to a great medical school and save yourself tens of thousands of dollars simply by going to an area with a lower cost of living. And you can also combine that with kind of an area that's known for having lower tuitions. The state of Texas is a great example where most of the medical schools don't get over $20,000 per year. And again, compare that to an annual tuition fee of almost $70,000 for some of these higher institutions. I would argue that that difference at almost $40,000 per year simply in tuition alone doesn't necessarily make you a better doctor by going to one of these institutions versus another one. And by no means does it mean that your future salary will be $40,000 more per year than a colleague who went to a different med school. And so the main takeaway that I want you guys to have on this video is that yes, medical school is really expensive. The range is also furiously different depending on where you are and where you're considering of living. But if you can find an institution in a lower cost of living area with still a great reputation for medical training, you'll save yourself not tens of thousands, but possibly hundreds of thousands of dollars in overall savings and med school debt and ideally all that stress that comes with it. And so when you include things like financial aid, which are really hard to include for the purposes of this video, you may have an institution that completely drops out of the top 10 in the most expensive med schools because they do such a great job of funding for their students. And so just don't always look at the final price tag of a medical school to express this quality. Look at how much financial aid they give you and also the differences of education. If the difference isn't that very much, I would more often than not pick the cheaper one. But like I mentioned at the start of this video, if you guys are interested in a full breakdown of all of the numbers that we broke down in this video for you, as well as some of the schools that we didn't get to talk about, go ahead and just check out that Google link down below. It's absolutely free. And if you guys have more questions about your medical school journey, go ahead and also drop them in the comments section down below. Now, if you're on your pre-med journey and you're wanting more advice, you want to know what I would do if I was in your shoes, then go ahead and check out the pre-med journey, which is a book that I wrote to basically express all the strategies that I use, as well as wish that I use to increase my chances of getting into med school. If you click down below, you'll find a link where that book will just be 99 cents on Amazon Kindle and ideally help increase your chances of getting into med school. If you did enjoy this video, then I really do appreciate it if you can hit that like button. It does take a lot of time to make this video, to do the research and put it all together. So simple like would definitely help. If you haven't done so already, consider hitting that subscribe button to get two videos just like this every single week. And if you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably also enjoy this video of all of the hardest medical schools to get into, as well as this video to learn exactly how much doctors make here in the United States. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully I was a little help to you on your journey. Thanks for always being a part of mine. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.